New Harbor. Get tickets now. So, what's First Wednesday? New in town. How can you tell? First Wednesday of every month, we celebrate with new scratchers, new prizes, and your chance to win from the DC Lottery. New scratchers and new prizes the first Wednesday of every month? Every month. Wow. I've got to get some scratchers. Celebrate every first Wednesday with new scratchers, new prizes, and new chances to win. Hey, happy first Wednesday. Happy first Wednesday. I'm Katie from Long Baths. We do bath and shower replacement the right way, the long way. Right now, get 50% off materials, plus no payments and no interest for two years. Wisdom Martin joins Get Up DC weekday mornings at 425 a.m. I think it pisses God off if you walk past the color purple and not notice it. <laughs> a musical film version of The Color Purple premieres later this month with Academy Award nominated actor Taraji P. Henson in a starring role. Reason enough for this Sunday profile from Tracy Smith. We're rolling. Here we go, guys. Stepping out on a Hollywood penthouse balcony with Taraji P. Henson, it seems she knows just how high she's come up in the world. That's why I always tell when I go speak to inner city children, I'm always like, just get out of your zip code. Because you go to some of these towns, they've never left their zip code. They've never been downtown in their own city. So how can they dream? <laughs> right, right. Boy, you got out of your zip code. I got out of my zip code. Truth is, she's entered the stratosphere. In the musical film version of the classic The Color Purple, opening Christmas Day, she stars as Suge, a woman who sings, dances, and generally breaks the rules. Now, let me. Oh, I need you to work a little hard. Okay. Henson says she actually turned down the chance to play the role on Broadway. Broadway is tough. I don't know if you know. There's eight shows a week. You know, it's a lot. And because I was trained in theater and I've done musical theater before, I just knew I wasn't ready. I was like, I don't have it. But she has it here. Just another showcase for an actor with talent to burn. Taraji Penda Henson, the name means hope love in Swahili, grew up in inner city Washington, D.C. and studied electrical engineering before switching to drama. And then talk about making plans makes God laugh. <laughs> Your junior year, you got pregnant. Yeah. Did you think the acting dream is no. over? No. If anything, that I became fierce in going after my dreams because there was no time to waste now. I have a kid and now it's not just me anymore. So I don't have time for the BS. After she graduated Howard University with her son in her arms, her father Boris urged her to go west to pursue her acting dream. And so with a new baby and only $700 to her name, she came to LA and started making the rounds, doing guest shots on shows like ER. What you pulling in here, Moselle? Just come to see little Twan. Man, I don't think so. What business is it of yours who I come to see? Oh, this is my business, girl. Chill, girl, chill. Okay, okay take it outside, both of you, now. Her first real breakout role came opposite Terrence Howard. Come on. In the 2005 hit, Hustle and Flow, as a first-time backup singer on a song about the challenges of a certain line of work. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. When he's trying to get this money for the rent. She still remembers making Hustle and Flow as one of the highlights of her life. Even if I wasn't in a scene, I would stay on the set all night long just because we were just so happy to be there. I haven't done that since then. That was that special. That was that special. Now I go, um, I'm done. Bye, y'all. Have fun. <laughs> You might not recall that the song was nominated for an Academy Award, or that it won. The Oscar goes to... <laughs> it's hard out here! You know what? I think it just got a little easier out here for a pen. Strangely, it did not get a lot easier for Taraji P. Henson. Her roles 
got a lot bigger, but her paychecks didn't always measure up. For instance, she asked for $500,000 for a big role opposite Brad Pitt. Like, I wasn't even being greedy. I knew that I was up and coming, but surely, I know I can make you $500,000 with my fan thing. And did you get $500,000? No. <laughs> I was offered seventy-five, and then we fought and fought until we got one fifty. One fifty. Oh, you seen some pain, some joy too. Sure, sure, I did. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> but her Oscar-nominated performance, it turns out, was priceless. As was her role in the 2016 film, Hidden Figures. It's the true story of the black women who helped get the space program off the ground, even as they were treated like second-class citizens. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building, or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Henson was riveting as mathematician Katherine Johnson. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch! Oh, my God. And when the Hidden Figures cast won a SAG award, Henson summed it all up in a speech for the ages. This story is of unity. This story is about what happens when we put our differences yes. aside and we come together as a human race. We win. Love wins every time. No, sir. On TV, Henson was reunited with Terrence Howard in the primetime soap Empire as his vengeful ex-wife Cookie. But she needed some convincing. You didn't want to do Empire at first. I did not. Because? Because I didn't read it, to be quite honest. I was just, I heard about her and I was like, that sounds stupid. <laughs> But she went on to win a Golden Globe for the role and helped make the show a smash. Hush. Put it on. And now, in the color purple, her character helps other women to see how strong they can be. You could say Taraji P. Henson does that with every role she takes on. This brings us very nicely back to the color purple. What do you hope people take from this film? Time is up when the heart stops. As long as you got a beat in your heart, it's time to make your wildest dreams come true. What did you take from it? It just reminds me of how powerful we are as women when, when we stick together. And then this doesn't mean that we're coming after you men. If we stick together, you're taken care of. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> you know men get nervous. The women and the girls are sticking together. You will benefit. Trust me.